Hey guys, two things that have been coming up a lot lately. I want you to stay nice and tall when you're kicking. So when we're kicking out of hand, we're generally big and tall, big ball drop, our hips are big and strong, and our upper body's nice and strong. Then we put the ball on the tee, and we really compress down, we get really bent, our hips hinge, and our upper body gets over the ball too much. So just remember that feeling of when we're kicking out of hand, stay tall, let your back swing, get nice and big, and get all that energy from your hips. The second point is just your plant foot. So this plant foot needs to be bent, not locked out. We don't want to be breaking ourselves like a foot brake in the car, stopping our momentum. With our follow through, we want to be nice and soft so that we can get our momentum going through to target. Doesn't matter what follow through you use, whether it's kick and foot down or kick and hop, we want to be soft on that leg so that we can take our momentum forward through the ball. Hey team, thanks for watching that Rugby Bricks YouTube video. Please subscribe to the channel. I want to point out the four passing sessions we have put together. What it is, is I coach you through these four sessions, 60 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest for 10 exercises. I coach you through, give you the cues, the tips. These exercises are, are drills that the professional use to keep their passing game sharp and keep developing their skill set. So I'd love for you guys to check these out. The link to these four sessions is below. I guarantee if you get through those 100 passing sessions, those really important coaches and selectors are going to really notice your skill standing out on the rugby field. Thanks for watching again. I'll see you back here again for another Rugby Bricks YouTube video.